we'll have someone come stay for a night or two. Sure. Jared's parents are really good about coming into town every couple months, and so Felicity calls this Grandma and Grandpa's room. Here's here's the problem with uh, living in California. When we were on the border of Mexico in Texas, where it was super hot and dusty and small town, border town, uh, we'd always invite people to come stay with us, and we'd say, yeah, visit any time, and they rarely took us up on it. And then we moved to California, and we'd say, visit any time, and they go, how about next week? So we've had people. Can I stay for a week? <laughs> yeah, we've so. had people in our home. Without a crystal ball, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, August 16th. I'm excited. Yesterday was a really funny day. I was like cruising through making videos, filming, and I had to get things done so fast. And so I was cruising through my videos and I was pretty excitable and happy and silly and brought the energy. And I'm gonna try to do that again today because I actually was laughing at myself. I don't normally laugh at myself, but I kind of busted out a couple times yesterday. I was like, I'm being goofy. So welcome back to my channel. If I'm a little goofy this week, that's why. So today I wanna talk to you about a new video by Ginger and Jeremy Volo. Some of you guys have this like love-hate relationship with them. I know, I know, I know, I know. Trust me. I like Ginger. I do. I do. I like Ginger. Jeremy gives me feelings, okay? He does. I just have this thing about Jeremy. I don't necessarily love him, but I don't hate him. I just have feelings, and so do you guys. But he is a husband to Ginger, and they have been living in Los Angeles, you guys, and they've been living in a house that is owned by Grace Community Church for about three years. Jeremy is studying at the seminary, which is attached to the Grace Community Church, which is operated by John MacArthur, who is this evangelical Baptist preacher, pastor of the Reformed theology. They are into predestination and all of that stuff. And his theology is a big sticking point with the Duggars because they are not reformed, okay? And so some of the people in the Duggar family don't love Jeremy because of his beliefs. Faith has been dividing families for centuries, and it's sad that people fight over this kind of stuff and that it can harm and ruin families, you know? Like, let's just be honest here. So Jeremy and Ginger have been in California for three years and Jim Bob and Michelle like literally hardly ever visit them because Jim Bob hates California, allegedly. Well, I, I, I think he's actually been quite open about how he doesn't like California. I think I remember them talking about, you know, this on their, their show, you know, with California being sort of filled with the devil and the sins and all of that. And culture that they don't want to deal with like the lgbtq plus so they don't love california so they don't visit a lot so in a recent video i thought this is an actually interesting sort of dig maybe not even dig just a little bit of shade by ginger about their house so they took everyone on a house tour long story short during the house tour they let people know about their house now first off again this is not an owned house by them this is a house that is owned by master seminary they are staying there while jeremy is in school and once jeremy's done with his program they will have to find different housing because this is not housing available to them when they're not students jeremy just enrolled into the phd program uh, with the seminary and He's doing that right now. He, he finished the master's portion and now he's on the PhD side of things. So Jeremy is still in school, which means they get to stay in this place. So the house is apparently valued around a million dollars, but just table that because they're not paying for the house. Got it? They might be paying rent to the church, but they're not, they don't own the house. The house though is a nice place and it has quite a few ba bathrooms, bedrooms, a beautiful kitchen, and uh, a lot of space for their growing family. So in the very beginning, they actually, this video, I have to tell you, made me sick. Um, not because I don't like them <laughs> at all, actually. Ginger, I love Ginger. I don't know what it is about Ginger. She's got a like sweet personality, 
hard to dislike her. Really, it is. Don't be, like she's the kind of person where it's like you don't have to agree with what she believes in. You can just think, oh, she looks like a sweet person. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I get from Ginger. So they're walking into the bedroom on the main floor, which is apparently the master bedroom of this place, right? And they say that they moved out of this master bedroom because now they have visitors and or because the girls are rooms are upstairs. So I think there's like two or three bedrooms that are up in the upstairs and there's only one bedroom on the main floor and I don't understand when floor plans are like this like why do they put the main why do they put the master on the main floor is it because as people get older they want to be on the main floor maybe I don't know uh anyways the master bedroom they don't stay in anymore and it's a guest room and they were kind of talking about how now that they live in California they get a lot of guests that come to their house I can imagine and Ginger did this like funny little swipe where she said, Bill, check I this out. Like maybe every couple of weeks to at least once a month, we'll have someone come stay for a night or two. Sure. Jared's parents are really good about coming into town every couple months. And so Felicity calls this grandma and grandpa's room. Here's, here's the problem. So she with... went, she made a point and I just thought that was odd. She made a point to point out that Jim, Jeremy's parents are really good about visiting, really good about visiting and because they're really good about visiting felicity refers to this bedroom as grandma and grandpa's bedroom so because grandma and grandpa are good at visiting that's grandma and grandpa's bedroom jeremy's parents not ginger's parents i don't even know if jim bob has ever gone out there on his own outside of the show if you remember they hosted a birthday party for her on the show for counting on but i don't know that jim bob's ever been out there since after the trial uh, michelle went to go visit Ginger uh, with some of the girls, but I don't think she even goes out there very often. She was there for the birth of the daughter, uh, Evie, and for Felicity, but I don't, well, Felicity wasn't born there. So she was there for the birth of Evie, but beyond that, I don't think Michelle even goes there to visit very much. They've got a lot of kids still. It's different because Jeremy comes from a small family and all of his siblings are grown. Different seasons of life. I'm walking through a season bingo okay i'm gonna make a bingo card sometime i actually did make a dugger bingo card it was funny okay so they do a little bit of shade at the ginger and jeremy or ginger throws a little shade at her parents at jeremy's parents being very good about visiting okay so when they get upstairs which is really funny that well first of all they do the like totally normal sexist thing where they say this is ginger's kitchen because i'm a terrible cook and blah, blah, blah. And so Ginger is the master chef. She's a stay at home mom. Jeremy's working and well, he doesn't really even work. You guys, they're doing all of this stuff. Let me be honest. Jeremy does not make very much with his, what he's doing. And so they have to find a way to make money. And that's what they're doing with the YouTube channel. What shocks me in all of this is that their YouTube channel has such a low subscriber count. Only like 29,000 people at this point have subscribed to the channel. And I will mention this, that when I talk about Ginger and Jeremy, on this channel. I will talk about Ginger and it's fine, but if I talk about Jeremy, like the videos are always low. Like they're not your favorite, which is funny because in their books, they say that Ginger and Jeremy are fan favorites. That's not true on this channel. <laughs> Ginger and Jeremy are not your favorites. And I don't know why, but you guys love videos on Jill. You love stuff on, you're, you're, you're lukewarm on Jessa. You'll always watch stuff on Anna, on Josh. You're always into drama if it's between the sisters. But when it's just like Ginger and Jer Jeremy alone, you're just like not that interested. It's weird. I don't know what it is. It, they're not your favorite. Why? Y'all love Jill though. So when they go upstairs, maybe this is why you guys don't like Ginger and Jeremy. Jeremy takes them into his office and I almost spit my drink out when I saw this. So he is in the office and you walk in and he has got photographs on his, like above the window, above the window, taped to the frame of the window. And it's a picture of him, a picture of him, a picture of him next to a guy. And I don't know who the guy is. At first I thought it was Tom Brady, but someone thought it, I had read somewhere that it might be some guy named Dwight. I don't know, but there's a picture of Jeremy's picture and then another guy. And I'm like, what is this? Why does Jeremy have a photograph taped to the top of the picture, like top of the window of himself next to some guy? What is that? It's just 
first of all, extremely odd placement of the pictures. Does he like himself? Is it a joke? What is this picture? It looks like it's John Tom Brady. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like it's a picture of Tom Brady and him right next to each other. I don't know if it's Tom Brady. Obviously, you know, people always laugh that Jeremy's like super narcissistic and um, people on Reddit were talking about it and joking that it's like Dwight putting up a picture of himself in the office. I never saw that episode, so I don't know about that. But it's really bizarre because one, the placement of the pictures, it's almost like when Jeremy's writing his sermon, he's like looking up at a picture of himself, getting inspired by looking at himself. Like he's looking at himself to be inspired by the word of God. What if Jeremy thinks he's God? What if Jeremy is inspired by himself because he believes he's God? Whoa, okay, probably not. It's just a weird picture, just totally funny. Maybe it's a joke, I hope it's a joke. He can't be serious. Anyways, in his uh, study, he's got all of his stuff, but that kind of caught me off guard was that weird, oddly placed photograph of himself on top of the windowsill. Like it would be so different, it was anywhere else, but it's like on top of the windowsill. Doesn't even make sense where he put it. It has to be a joke. Okay, so anyways, they have a lot of, um, they go on to explain how they have a lot of earthquakes there. And so because of that, uh, they have, the, they've gone upstairs, their bedroom is upstairs, the girls are in a bedroom together. Apparently Felicity is really into unicorns. There's a crib that's in their bed, so maybe Evie is still sleeping in their room with them. I don't know. But they have enough bedrooms for the girls to have their own rooms, and they don't. And one room is being taken up by an office for Jeremy, and the other room is being a guest room. So they have a total of four bedrooms. And then they have another room that's downstairs that they turned out into a workout room and a playroom for the girls. Jeremy's stuff takes up a lot of space. And for the amount of children that they have, they don't have a lot of like kids stuff, which I was shocked with. It's in a very adult home. Have you ever like watched the um, Quiverful stuff and like the IBLP stuff? And they always talk about like children, you're raising an adult, not a child. And so they treat children like adults. Do you think that that's like the mindset there? If you guys walked into my house, by the way, you would walk into a sea of dinosaurs, uh, tons of Godzilla toys and towers of dinosaurs. I mean, my house is overflowing with dinosaurs. It is very evident a kid lives here. No, sh no shame to them. I'm just constantly, and they might've cleaned up for this video. I mean, I could see that. Long story short, shade thrown, at the Duggars and a weird photograph of Jeremy in his office. The house is again located in Los Angeles. It's appraised at over a million dollars. It has around 2,000 square feet, four bedrooms and two full bathrooms. And it is owned by Grace Community Church and it is the current home of Jeremy and Ginger Volo. Are you vibing with their house? Were you kind of feeling queasy with this video like I was? Did the shaking of the camera make you get vertigo? What were your thoughts about the picture on the wall and uh, their, their house? Did you love it? Did you not love it? They didn't show their shoe closet, which I saw people asking like, where's your Jordan shoe closet? Because they're shoe, shoes people. So yeah, what are your thoughts on it? Tell me in the comments below. Bye guys.